कैन यू राइट द कोड विद द हेल्प ऑफ फैरो फंक्शन मैं आप इंट्रोड्यूस राइट द फंक्शन विद द हेल्प ऑफ फैरो फंक्शन आई डोंट वॉन्ट नॉर्मल फंक्शन ओके ओके yeah it's done uh, in the first one we have multiplied each element by 3 uh, with the help of map and arrow function here i have used and here in the second one this is for the reduce function i have uh, used arrow function here what i have done is i have uh, added each element and it stored in the accumulator okay uh, what is jsx so javascript xml it helps us to write html and react so that is the use of jsx how our redux works like can you explain how redux works and what are the parts of redux uh, so redux it has three parts action store and reducer and how it works is like uh, so redux it is a unit directional data flow and we generally use when there is a complexity in the code then we generally use redux like how to update and how to pass the data so uh, how it works will well will be like suppose when whenever the user interacts with the application so action will get dispatched the reducer function so it will have two parameters the current state and the dispatch action so it will divide the uh, task into small reducer functions and uh this will return a new state so so this is how uh, the redux it will work how uh, can we explain the difference between filter function and map function uh so difference between filter and map is a uh, map it is used to suppose if we want to multiply each element by 2 or add each element by 2 so this can be done with the help of map method uh whereas filter method it is used to filtering out the elements for example uh there is an array 1 to 3 4 5 and we want elements greater than 3 then we can do with the help of filter method so uh this is how filter and map method will work uh what are closures in javascript so closure in what happens in closure is the function which is present inside the another function so that in a function can have access to the parent scope so that is nothing but a closure uh, can web browsers allow able to read jsx directly uh, web browsers won't be able to read jsx uh, so uh, this is why uh, babel comes into play so what babel does is it, it converts the jsx into simple react function
so that browser can understand okay 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 oh uh, what is transpiler so transpiler what it does it is used for conversion of program source code into another program source code so that is the use of uh, transpiler what are the new features in year 6 can you explain uh multi- there are uh, multiple features which includes like template literals let const uh, then uh, slice splice uh destructuring rest operators uh map reduce filter so these are the few uh, which i can think of there are few others but these are the few features which i can think of so uh, can you explain what are promises and different stages in promises uh, so promises they are javascript object it helps us to represent failure or it represents completion of the asynchronous operation so that is promises and it has three states uh, dissolve pending and rejected uh, what is use effect hook what are the parameters and so on so use effect it is used to perform side effects for example like uh, in react js we use for mounting updating and mounting for those purpose we use use effect and it has two parameters which includes a uh, function and dependency can you explain what is reducer Uh, so reducer in redux uh, so it is a pure function it will take the uh, action and the current state and it will return the new state so that is a use of reducer function oh uh, what is difference between padding and margin uh, so a difference between margin and padding it is related to the space so padding it is the space which is inside the components border whereas margin it is a space outside the components border so that is the main difference between margin and padding uh what are tags in html so html tags it consists of opening tag and closing tag so uh, what html tags do is it helps us to define how elements or how content on the web page can be presented so for that purpose html tags are used uh how do you give styling in the component uh we can create css file through which we can give styling can i explain what are react fragments so, so react yeah. fragments it helps us to maintain the cleaner dom and it avoids unnecessary wrap elements so for that purpose react fragments is useful uh what is middleware in redux uh so middleware it helps us to uh, deal with asynchronous request error reporting for those purpose we use middleware so uh, basically middleware it is a function uh, where uh, it helps us to check whether we want to cancel the action or whether we want to update the action so for that purpose we use middleware what are the types of middlewares that you have used in redux i've used both thunk as well as saga uh so what you are using functional components or class components i'm using functional components but i have used cl- a class components as well like can you explain how will you do mounting updating and mounting in functional components uh, so for mounting we will use a uh, use effect function and empty dependency array for updating phase we will use a uh, function and uh, any dependency array a uh, proper state or any dependency array we will use in unmounting we will use uh, inside use effect we will write return method and dependency so this is how we will do in functional components a uh, what is function coding in javascript it helps us to convert a function with multiple arguments into number of functions with each argument each one argument so that is the use of function coding Oh, uh, can you explain the difference between double equal to and triple equal to operator? A uh, double equal to it is used to check the value, whereas triple equal to it is used to check the value as well as data type. So that is the use of a uh, double equal to and triple equal to operator. Oh, uh, what is the difference between class components and functional components? Can you explain? a uh, difference between class and functional components is like a uh, functional components uh, 
it uses hooks for the features such as states, life cycle methods, etc. So for those kind of features, it uses hooks. Whereas uh, in class components, they have inbuilt features for states and life cycle methods and so on. Uh, then the second point is like f um, the functional components. They are kind of simple JavaScript function and they are easier to use as compared to class components. Class components a bit complex for developers to use so yeah uh, these are the two main points uh, which i can think of okay so what is the difference between use memo and use callback uh, use memo and use callback both are used for avoid uh, avoiding unnecessary read entry but so use callback it is used to return memoize function whereas use callback it is used to return memoize value so that is the main difference between use callback and use memo. Uh, how can we remove the data of local storage? Uh, we can use the remove item. Uh, what is the difference between local storage and session storage? Uh, local and session storage also. Uh, local storage, what it happens, suppose uh, if we close the browser, then data, it doesn't get vanished. Whereas uh, in session storage, as soon as we close the browser, the data gets vanished. So that is the main difference between uh, session and local storage. Yes, th uh, that's it for mind. Uh, do you have any queries you want to ask?